Okay, welcome to English Video Tutor, lesson number four. Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to go through uh, nouns, verbs, and pronoun. Okay, uh, nouns. Uh, it, what nouns are, are um, it's the kind of word that uh, you use, right? In a sentence, in English, a noun would be something something, a uh, person, or place, right? So, an example of a noun uh, would be a pencil, car, dog. Uh, these are all things, right? Uh, a place, uh, like a city, right? You can have a city name. Uh, that's a noun. Okay, verbs. Verbs are words uh, that describe an action, right, uh, an, an action uh, would, um, would be a verb, right, an ex example of a verb, uh, a word that is a verb would be lift, so lift, right, that's an action, drop, okay, dropping something, that's an action, right, uh, a word that describes an action. Drop. Uh, walk. Right? Let's go, you walk. You walk. Right? That's an action. Okay? Pronoun. Uh, pronoun is a substitute for a noun. Right? You substitute some word that substitute for uh, a noun. Uh, so... Let's say in a sentence, um, you know, instead of uh, saying, uh, if, you, if you don't know what it is, right, uh, so you can just have a substitute for the thing that you want to, um, you want to describe to the person, right, you want to uh, tell the person something, but you don't know what it is, so let's say a pencil, a substitute for a thing. But you don't know uh, what you know, you're telling the person, so a substitute would be it, right? Uh, it could be something, but uh, you don't know what it is, so it's you substitute uh, in the sentence instead of uh, describing exactly what what the thing is, uh, you, you just use it, right? Uh, so uh, I dropped it, right? So. Instead of a, a pencil, I, I, I drop it. Uh, you don't uh, you don't need to tell the person what it is exactly, but uh, it's a thing. So you substitute it for the thing. So you drop it or you lift it. Uh, so you, instead of uh, substitute, instead of describing the pen, right? You say you lift it. Right? It is a substitute for pen. Or pencil. Um, he, he is a substitute for a male person. Um, uh, he came to me, right? And she, she, is a substitute for a female person, right? So she came to me, or I went to her, or I talked to her, right? Uh, her is um, is a substitute. But as what you use in the sentence, when you use it in the sentence, uh, you put her, right? You use her to uh, to be the object, you know, the object of what you're doing the action to, right? You, you talk to her, right? Or him, him, right? Uh, that's an object, right? So uh, uh, I I talk to him. Uh, you. Uh, for example, you, right? Um, I talk to you. These are subjects, right? He, she, uh, I. Uh, it's referring to uh, the subject, right? Uh, so he did something, uh, or she walked, right? You know, the subject did something. She, uh, so. The subject is came comes before the action. So 
he talked, uh, she played, or I read, right? Uh, the, these are pronouns, and what that means are these are words that is a substitute for a specific thing, right? Instead of uh, having the thing named, right? Instead of having the name known exactly, right? She could be uh, Jane, or he could be Tom, but instead of saying Tom or Jane, you use he or she, or I. And then for it, uh, it is not a person. It, uh, you use it to describe, to, uh, to be a substitute for a thing, right? So this is not a person. So this is a thing, you substitute it for a pen. Okay, uh, that's it for this lesson, this uh, lesson number four. In this lesson went over nouns, verbs, went over nouns, verbs, and uh, pronouns. Pronouns, right? Nouns, verbs, pronouns. Nouns uh, is um, a word uh, for a thing or a person or a place. Verb is a word that uh, describes an action. Uh, nouns describes a place, person, thing. And pronouns, pronouns is a substitute for a noun. Right? A sub uh, substitute for a thing or person. And it could substitute... Uh, female. Or... Male to substitute for female or a male person or a thing. Right? Female, she, her, uh, male, he, him, or thing, it. Okay, that's it for this lesson.